We are continuing on with our reading in the Bible. This is from the NIV Study Bible, published in 1983. And this section, it, there's a double witness. This is a section that's also reproduced very similarly in, the, in Deuteronomy. It's a double witness, which means it's in the Bible twice, of course, which is a double witness. And it also means Yahweh, Yahshua, are saying, pay attention to this. I want you to learn this. So now we're going to be covering, again, uh, the punishment for disobedience. And this is our study of America in the Bible. And I use this as proof that we are the people of the book. We're the real deal. And this will remind you of America today. And hopefully it'll convict you and you will repent, get a hold of a good copy of the Bible and read it and grow in the Holy Spirit. Because salvation is a present day, present day activity. You are saved today, not later in the future. And you need to be saved today. So this is going to be chapter 26, Leviticus, verses 14, <laughs> to the end of the chapter, 46. I mean, that's about 30 verses. That's about twice the length as the blessings for obedience. Actually, it's more, it's like three times the length, word-wise. But if you will not listen to me and carry all these commandments... Ten Commandments of Mount Sinai. And if you reject my decrees and abhor my laws and fail to carry out all my commandments and so violate my covenant, then I will do this to you. I will bring upon you sudden terror, wasting diseases and fever that will destroy your sight and drain away your life. You will plant seed in vain because your enemies will eat it. I will set my face against you so that you will be defeated by your enemies. Those who you hate, those who hate you will rule over you. And you will flee even when no one is pursuing you. If after all this you will not listen to me, I will punish you for your sins seven times over. I will break down your stubborn pride and will make the sky above you like iron, and the ground beneath you like bronze. Your strength will be spent in vain, because your soil will not yield its crops, nor will the trees of the land yield their fruit. If you remain hostile towards me, and refuse to listen to me, I will multiply your affliction seven times over, as your sins deserve." I will send wild animals against you, and they will rob you of your children, destroy your cattle, and make you so few in number that your roads will be deserted. If, in spite of all these things, you do not accept my correction, but continue to be hostile towards me, I myself will be hostile towards you, and will afflict you for your sins seven times over, and I will bring the sword upon you to avenge the breaking of the covenant. When you withdraw into your cities, I will send a plague among you, and you will be given into enemy hands. When I cut off your supply of bread, ten women will be able to bake your bread in one oven, and they will dole out the bread by weight. You will eat but you will not be satisfied. If in spite of this you still do not listen to me, but continue to be hostile toward me, then in my anger I will be hostile toward you, and I myself will punish you for your sins seven times over. You will eat the flesh of your sons and the flesh of your daughters. I will destroy your high places, cut down your incense altars, and pile your dead bodies on the lifeless forms of your idols, and I will abhor you, 
and I will turn your cities into ruins and lay waste your sanctuaries, and I will take no delight in the pleasing aroma of your offerings. I will lay waste the land so that your enemies who live there will be appalled. I will scatter you among the nations and will draw out my sword and pursue you. Your land will be laid waste and your cities will lie in ruins. Then the land will enjoy its Sabbath years all the time that it lies desolate and you are in the country of your enemies. Then the land will rest and enjoy its Sabbaths. All the time that it lies desolate, the land will have the rest it did not have during the Sabbaths you lived in it. As for those of you who are left, I will make your heart so fearful in the lands of their enemies that the sound of a wind-blown leaf will put them to flight. They will run as though fleeing from the sword, and they will fall even though no one is pursuing them. They will stumble over one another as though fleeing from the sword, even though no one is pursuing them. So you will not be able to stand before your enemies. You will perish among the nations. The land of your enemies will devour you. Those of you who are left will waste away in the lands of your enemies because of their sins. Also because of their father's sins, they will waste away. But if you will confess, if, if they will confess their sins and the sins of their fathers, their treachery against me and their hostility towards me, which made me hostile towards them so that I sent them into the land of their enemies, then when their uncircumcised hearts are humbled and they pay for their sin, I will remember my covenant with Jacob and my covenant with Isaac and my covenant with Abram, and I will remember the land, for the land will be deserted by them and will enjoy its Sabbath while it lies desolate without them. They will pay for their sins because they rejected my laws and abhorred my decrees. Yet, in spite of this, when they are in the land of their enemies, I will not reject them or abhor them so as to destroy them completely breaking my covenant with them. I am the Lord their God, but for their sake I will remember the covenant with their ancestors whom I brought out of Egypt in the sight of the nations to be their God. I am the Lord. These are the decrees, the laws, and the regulations that the Lord established on Mount Sinai between himself and the Israelites through Moses. So we end this part of our reading from the NIV. Now I will go over to the proper name version of the King James Bible. Why? Because it's more accurate, and this is very important. I think a double witness isn't enough. I think we need fourfold witness. So I'm going to give that to you. So bear with me, and I will open up the other book now. One more thing I need to tell you about in here, if I can find it quickly. He mentioned using his sword against us in this passage. Remember that? Well, you need to know something. And that is that uh, he actually threatens to use his sword, his, his glittering sword, his sword of lightning against those who hate him. And I'm not finding it right away. Let's stay to the task at hand. Yahweh bless.